we are the first, I would say, we are the harbingers in this area to go in for geothermal. Nobody else, none of our neighbors or friends have done this. So they're all looking up to us to see how uh, the performance is going to be. The goal is to take advantage of the fact that the soil has a lot of heat capacity, a lot of availability of heat. So when you pull heat out and put it into the air of your house, you can do that for a long time without cooling down all that mass of soil that you have outside. So the cheapest way, if you're not already excavating a lot of earth, is to drill these long wells because you just have a rig that comes and drills basically a water well. And then you put in a pipe that allows you to take advantage of that entire length of 200 to 500 feet worth of soil as sort of an quote unquote infinite source of heat for your house. Geothermal is evolving rapidly. We are seeing it go into much more urban spaces. So right now there are several New York City housing projects that are switching over to geothermal because it's cost effective. You know, like if you're looking at how much does it cost to operate those buildings over time, that upfront cost of putting the ground loops in is totally worth it. A typical home using fuel oil in this part of the world might be spending four to five thousand dollars a year on fuel oil and air conditioning bills. That same home will probably be spending about a thousand dollars a year on electricity with a geothermal system. As parents, uh, we are sh uh, leading the path to our uh, kids uh, that uh, we not alone take care of them, we take care of the earth so that they can uh, have a better life. I would uh, say that uh, all uh, residents in this area should follow the suit so that Cortland Manor is a livable place in the next 50 years. <music>